Uh, hi, in this video we are going to see how to reprocess IDOC from web methods. For example, you have received some IDOC from the SAP system and which is stored at your end. For example, if you look at this SAP adapter transaction page and we have many IDOCs received and we have a TADs here. So here I wanted to re-trigger the IDOC. For example, I have a TID When I click that particular TID, we can see what kind of IDOC I have received. I'm going to use the TID in order to re-trigger the IDOC again to the flow. So what will happen initially when the IDOC received our end? So we will have the listener to receive the IDOC and then you will have a listener notification to process the IDOC. So whenever the IDOC is received, it will internally publish some notification document and from there you will have a trigger which will subscribe your IDOC. So here I have already received it and some reason assume your processing services failed and instead of asking SAP team to resend the IDOC, you wanted to process it from web method itself. How do you do it? So basically we can do it by using this TID. You take this TID and you write a service like this. So for example, here I have written a service with an input called TID. So whatever we are taking it from the SAP transaction page, which you wanted to reprocess, you take the TID and then you use this built-in service which is get message body which is available in WMSAP package and which will give the IDOC list and uh, this is the next line and uh, IDOC list it will come and then you give this confirms to value for your IDOC IS document structure for example if you have a adapter notification publishable document it will have the structure of the IDOC so you can pass that structure of the IDOC here so that the document will get translated with the correct structure and then what you do is once the document is received and uh, this is IDOC document, then what you do, you map the document structure to your structure. For example, this is IDOC for invoice 02, then you map to that structure. So this way your process service will receive the IDOC from using a TID option. So basically we are trying to reprocess the IDOC which we already received using a TID. We are getting the message because whenever the IDOC is received, we can store it by default in the SAP transaction store. So once it's stored using a TID, we can take it from the transaction store. So we are taking it from the transaction store and then we are converting to the IS document structure and we are giving a confirms to value as a your IS uh, document equivalent of adaptive notification document. So basically adaptive notification publishable document which will have your IDOC structure. I'm giving that so that it will form the IS document structure with a specific list. So for example, if there is a element with a document and there is an element with document list, then it will get converted properly. Then you call your actual service, whatever you wanted to feed this data, right? So you call your process uh, service uh, where you can feed this IDOC input so that from the TID, your service will receive the data. From there, you can do your unit testing or if you wanted to reprocess some scenario, right? For example, in a production scenario, you are already storing IDOC. Instead of asking source team to re-trigger it, if you want to have a reprocessing option from web method itself, you can use this option. Thank you for watching.